ವೆಚ್ಚದಲ್ಲಿ ಪರಿಸರ ಸ್ನೇಹಿ ಕಾರನ್ನ ತಯಾರಿಸಿ ಸಾಧನೆ Hey, this is such a cool e-vehicle. Where did you buy this from? It's actually manufactured in a Tripoli department under the guidance of Professor Gopal Reddy Singh. And what about its specifications? Okay. It was actually started to plan and uh, they did the budget for around 60,000. Once one, it is completely charged for once, it can drive up to a distance of 70 kilometers and it has a cool specifications. That sounds cool. Can I give it a try? Yeah, sure. Oh, this is a single seater. It looks quite comfortable. I think I should give it a try. Yeah, it can. Uh, it was a very simple and comfortable ride and uh, since it doesn't involve any manual transmission, even a layman can drive it. So is this the battery capacity indicator? Yeah, it shows the percentage of charge left in the battery and also the voltage of the battery. Uh, what are these switches? Uh, this, is, this is one for the forward drive and the reverse drive. It can move in both the directions. And these are the for the headlight switches in the front. It is on-road ready vehicle. We have a mirror. We have headlights. On. The cost of this complete e-vehicle is around approximately 50 to 60,000. How was your experience? The experience was amazing. How did you get the idea for this project? Actually, our seniors had an idea to do this project. They have did under the guidance of Professor Raghunath sir. What are the specifications of this? Like, uh, it has a battery storage unit to drive the motor and a controller will control the speed of the motor. We have a sensor to sense the speed and it will be, the display will display the voltage, capacitance and the speed of the vehicle. It's amazing. Uh, what if the battery runs out? Like a... Uh, the vehicle? Uh, no, it is a, since it is a hybrid vehicle, you can use the pedals to run. So, when you are pedaling, it's just like a driving a normal cycle. This is Rahul HV from Tripoli Department. And I'm Ashwin S. Rao from Tripoli Department. Signing off this week. We'll be giving you more updates in the coming weeks. Thank you. As we are aware, globally the automotive propulsion is shifting towards electrification. And the students and the engineering community are the front runners to adapt to the trend. Uh, keeping the same trend in mind, SAE REV was an initiative of SAE India aimed towards uh, developing the knowledge base and getting the hands-on experience uh, required for the engineers in range extended electric vehicles, which is REV. So what is the benefit of a student uh, participating in, in an event like this? So they get exposure to uh, an industry, they get exposure to the future technology and they also get introduced uh, to the concept of OEM product development. So Team Black Hawk Racing of VDC Mechanical Engineering have participated in SAE REV this year and let's have a look at what they have achieved. I am Sohan, Captain of Team Black Hawk Racing from Mechanical Engineering. We are a team of 35 members. Recently we participated in SAE REV. We had our virtuals on 9th and 10th of April. Uh, there were four rounds and we won first place in the second round. Uh, which was engine and electrical part ring. We also secured All India ranking of the second as second runner. I'm Nitin Jaikarje. I am from Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. As a core member of Black Hawk Racing, I'm so happy that we are rewarded as a best team for motor and battery pack design. And mobility system is not only for restricted for mechanical engineers. It as the technology evolves. It opens, a, it welcomes all branches of engineering such as computer science, electrical and electronics and even AI, AI and ML2 as a part of this event, including me and my three other friends has been invited for a HR round. Hopefully we will be uh, placed with the companies. Uh, that's it for the weekly updates from Black, uh, Team Blackhawk Racing. So these were the updates on the SCE uh, event. And this is Mohammad Rai and I'll be back with more updates next week. Welcome to weekly workshop updates. 
A workshop on robotics will be conducted in the department of Tripoli which involves designing of a speed controlled car by using ESP32 and a Bluetooth module. It will be conducted on this date and for more information you can contact this number. Many more exciting projects will also be designed. This is Sakina Durani from the department of Tripoli signing off. I'll be coming up with more updates the coming weeks. There are so many advancements which has been seen uh, in the field of mechanical engineering post covid and uh, as we know this is the era of industry 4.0 there are a lot of opportunities for mechanical engineers in the field of evs automobiles techno mechanicals and renewable in industry 4.0 in every industrial revolution we have seen many startups and we have seen so many small companies transforming into big businesses Nowadays the industries are mainly concentrating upon the automation and robotics. This might be a bad news for few, but for a technically sound mechanical engineering graduate, this is an excellent opportunity to start his or her career. Another booming field for mechanical engineering graduates are the field of electric vehicles. The EVs are not only restricted for the electrical engineers, but mechanical engineers plays a very important role over there. in the field of designing battery packing and uh, thermal analysis there are many startups being emerged in this field this provides an excellent opportunity for mechanical engineering graduates this is rakshit from the department of mechanical engineering and i'll be coming back with more updates in the coming weeks and for all india ranking is uh, uh, all india ranking uh, okay. i'm looking like at the department of electrical and electronics as a core member of uh, black op black op black op uh, this is rakshit from the department of mechanical engineering and i'll be back with more updates in the coming option in the coming stuff